If you want to create concept art, then you must check these models. Here are some of the best models for concept art, and I'll give you a tutorial on how to generate amazing concept art with each of them. Ghost Mix Ghost Mix is a checkpoint merge that can help you a lot when generating concept art with fantasy effects. The secret of this model is to keep your prompt more detailed but less specific. Come on, let me show it to you. In my stable diffusion window, I have prepared my workflow for Ghost Mix. Now, just like the page says, you'll need to switch on higher dot fix for best effects to keep denoising strength to 0.5 if you're upscaling it by two and make sure not to have bad hands negative prompt in your negative prompt box you see this image right here i got it by typing this prompt so let me set the badge count to two and hit generate you see the two i got these are very nice and they feel more aesthetic rather than following a specific prompt if you go to my prompt right here you can see i've specified things like in the sky detailed cinematic light golden and particles, light beams. These are vague descriptions of what I need, but I make sure these keywords are applied to the art. If you check the generated art, you can see it has all of what's mentioned. So the secret with Ghost Mix is to be specific with the keywords, but be vague with where you want them. This can give birth to some nice generations, which can help inspire you. The downside is that it can sometimes generate what you don't need. For example, check the second image where they generated a tower. We don't want that. In that case, you can simply include what you don't want in the next negative prompt and try another generation. Tunio. Tunio is a really, really nice model if you want to generate art with a cartoon effect. These are also really nice if you want to use these as character sprites during games with lots of dialogue. To get started with this, you'll have to follow some rules. First, switch the sampler to DPM++ SDA Keras to keep the sampling steps to what you prefer. But if you're using higher fix, make sure to keep the higher steps to 14 and denoising strength to 0.35. Now in the prompt, make sure to have best quality masterpiece in the positive prompt and worst quality low quality and letterboxed in the negative prompt. Remember, Tunio isn't like Ghost Mix. You can't create art like this with Tunio. Tunio is for character artwork. So the more details you give about your character and the background you need her in, the better. Now that's done, let me put my prompt right here. Keep batch counted to two and hit generate. All right, look at these results. You can see it follows our prompt closely. And since I mentioned the keyword flat color, it has a lot of simple colors rather than being complex. Now, a thing to note is how you'll need to be a bit more specific. For example, since we didn't specify the color of her dress, Stable Diffusion gave it a random color in one art and matched it with the color of her earrings in the second art. If you don't want that, make sure to be more specific. Epic Realism Epic Realism is very, very realistic. You can see it from the images here themselves. So you obviously know what type of character art you should use this for. If you need something with realism, this is the best model you you should use. And this is also a model where fewer keywords mean better results. And it is also a model you can use to create something other than characters. For example, let me write this very small prompt for a Lamborghini. Keep the negative prompts to just a few keywords and then hit generate. Boom, look at that. Sure, it has its flaws like the angel and the car lights, but in general, it does a great job with the prompt. This also can do some nice realistic character art generation. So if I paste out this prompt for a woman and hit generate, you can see we get a nice image of a woman with the prompt we provided. Note how in this prompt I've done very little to detail the subject, but it's taken the time to give details about the style and the area around her. So this is good with simpler prompts that provide more details about the style you need it in. Lirio. Lirio is one of my favorite models, but sadly the creator was banned from Civet AI for trying to manipulate reviews for his model. But the model was so good they had to remove the delisting. Lirio is not only good for character art, but for creating scenery as well. In my fantasy models video, I gave a detailed review on how this can create beautiful sceneries. But in this video, I'll just create one scenery to show how good it is. Right here, I have a prompt to create a steampunk scenery. And let's see how it handles it. Wow, you can see it really did a great job with the scenery. It added these nice tiny details like the water puddle and the flying leaves. And all of this captured the feeling I needed to convey through my art. Check out my review on fantasy models as well to see how well it did with other scenery. This also is great for generating characters. If I keep my previous prompt and hit generate, you can see I get this nice picture of a girl to match the prompt we provided. So let me know which of these models is your favorite. And if there are any other good models, mention those to me as well. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. That's it for today, AI gang, and I'll see you all in the next video.